But hold up now, I know what you may be thinking. You might be thinking, I love the style of that bouquet, but Joseph, I absolutely hate pink. And don't worry, we have got you covered. And Sabidium have got you covered too, because as you know, they come in a huge range of colors, an entire rainbow, as it were. Here in this bouquet, I've used the miniature Sabidium French Mustard, which is a gorgeous yellowy green color, that acid kind of green, which is just supported with those fantastic flecks of maroon in the throat. For my larger Sabidium, I've decided to use California Cascade, which is this fantastic white cymbidium with beautifully spaced individual blooms and a more pink throat to it, with the flecks of it highlighted against the gold towards the inside of the bloom. Now, in this bouquet, I followed the exact same procedures. We've started off with our foliage base. In this case, I decided to use a eucalyptus instead of magnolia, and you'll notice I've switched up a couple of other elements too. Instead of using spray roses, I've decided to use standard roses or roses on a single stem, and I've also complemented it, instead of using clematis this time, with two other aspects. I've used some anthurium clarinivium leaves and some verbenum roseum as well, just to provide a little bit more contrast to those fantastic, gorgeous cymbidium blooms. Now, the bouquet is essentially created in exactly the same manner as we can see here. We've used the spiral technique to create a front-facing contemporary hand tie. By contemporary, we mean our materials are grouped in clusters. They're grouped with like with like to create areas of dominance, recession, texture, and color all throughout the bouquet. And we've kept the packaging the same too. In my tutorials, I always like to keep my own personal branding out of things. I like to present ideas that you can then put your own stamp on. So we've purposely kept the branding and the packaging completely minimal on this bouquet, using only a little white tissue paper and a little bit of frosted cellophane, just so that you're able to kind of put your own stamp and visualize your own stamp on the bouquet itself, so you can recreate it for your own business or for the business that you work in. Now, the great thing about using Cymbidium in these contemporary bouquets is they come in a veritable spectrum of colors. Where they, of course, we know, come in yellows, greens, reds, browns, oranges, pinks, a full spectrum from which you can pink from. And what that means is that you can really mix up your Cymbidium choices. You can mix and match them for the occasion, for the client, for the interior that you're designing for. It really gives you a whole spectrum of color from which you can pick from. And don't be afraid to mix and match them too. I find that in my bouquets, I very rarely use either all the miniatures or all the large cymbidium. I like a mix of them. And in this one, we use Californian Cascade and French Mustard to beautiful effects. <laughs> Thank you. 